man, he was so courageous. I had to uh, stay calm. Mm -hmm. I mean, the best I could because, oh, man, it's so hard. It's okay. Go, go ahead. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all, man. That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? Welcome to Third Eye Visions, where we motivate the blind, stimulate your mind, and welcome all kind. A hero comes in all sizes and ages. This is quite simple. Anyone can become a hero at any given time, and Nolan is going to explain what I mean. So before I do that, you know the routine. You know it, because I've told you several times, and even Nolan knows it. Hit that notification bell after you subscribe, right, Nolan? Yes, sir. So they can get updates on very important, enlightening, inspiring stories like this one. Right, Nolan? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So with that being said, y'all like, comment, and share the video. So with that being said, man, I'm going to let y'all jump into uh, to, the, to this video so that y'all can understand what I'm talking about when I say a hero comes in all sizes and ages nolan is going to tell his story in terms of what happened what transpired that day and and give a little bit about who he is where he's from what he does and just let you get all into his business if you don't mind so with that being said nolan you take over the show and do what you do best man welcome to the show hey man thank you anthony man i just wanted to tell a little bit my my name's nolan i'm from the houston texas area um man it's been a rough year it's been a rough year for everybody so um, I just wanted to share my story to kind of inspire everybody to kind of stay strong. And, and you're right, man. It, heroes come in sh all shapes and sizes. Mm -hmm. And um, last year, right there at November 29th, uh, me and my son were working in my shop. And we had a powder coating shop with a uh, business partner of mine, which is uh, actually a local police officer down in Houston. Mm -hmm. And, um, well... It wasn't going to be too much of a Christmas, we thought. So we were going to put up a tree in our our shop, mm -hmm. and uh, so I man, I just got through telling him to, you know, if we, let's put one up. And I know we don't have many decorations, so and my son is so into arts and crafts that heck, he was going to make some little, you know, pre, uh, uh, I can't even catch the words, man, <laughs> ornaments for the tree, <laughs> but. Uh, well, he, man, he just went right back into the uh, office area and sat down. And, and as soon as he did, there was a loud explosion. Man, he come running back into the shop. And when he did, he, he found me on the shop floor. And, uh, man, I'll, I'm going to try to hold my composure the best no, I can. No, 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 no. Don't hold your composure. Just let it go, man, because, I mean, it's very emotional. If it's, if it's emotional, let it flow, man, because this is how you feel so do what you do man don't do it oh, you're right man it, it is touching so mm -hmm. but um when he uh uh came into the shop he found me on the floor and i was bleeding out and uh, whew, a uh air hose busted and hit me in my right eye crushing it and it also had lacerated my eyebrow and at that point he knew that i was totally blind <clears throat> because um when i was nine years old uh, i had lost my left eye to a bb gun accident mm. and um man he was so courageous i had to uh stay calm mm. i mean the best i could because oh man it's so hard it's okay. Go, go ahead. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all, man. I can just hear the sounds and everything right now, man. It's, but anyway, oh, he stuck strong. 
and with me being as calm as I was, I was able to keep him strong and and he was able to actually take care of me, you know, but he noticed some of the materials and stuff I had in the shop and went and got me a roll of shop towels so I could cover up my eye. And um, he rushed over to go get my phone and to call my business partner to come rush over to come get me. And luckily, my business partner went too far away, and he 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 got me pretty quick. And man, it was it was it was so just so instant, you know, my accident, my son saving me, and doing what he did to call my business partner to come up there and get me and rush me to the emergency room. And it. To be honest, if if it weren't for both of them, I probably wouldn't have the vision I got now. And you probably wouldn't have been here at all. I mean, from what you no, I probably wouldn't. Now, how long before you? Gosh, I, I can tell it's you know it's very emotional. How long was it before you sat down and started to do your work? Before you actually uh, heard the or the explosion? Or well. To be honest, I was actually working on the air hose and uh, the airline system when it and uh, when we were having our conversation. You know, I was standing on the ladder and uh, was talking to him about the Christmas tree and stuff. And and I, I mean, I, as soon as he shut the door and went in there to get his uh, art set out, that's when he heard the explosion. I mean, it, it was pretty instant. So it. it it was like an empowering moment, then a very drastic moment, and you know, we—I just wanted to do the best for him. I understand, and and the impact that knocked you on the floor at that time. Yes, yeah, it was. I had about 175 pounds of pressure in the line, and the metal fitting that it was like PEX tubing in the metal metal fitting slipped off and, and that's what impacted my face so. how did he know at this time at that time what to do i mean I, I, how did his, you know because that's, that's amazing first of all how old is your son or was your son at the time well he was nine years old at the time he's 10 now he'll be 11 next month and how did but, he uh, well he's always been right by my side through everything so you know i anything ever happens to me or any anybody you know and i i do something he's right there and I, and i've always taught him never to overreact during a major accident wow. and because I'm, I'm a shop person i'm a work person and i've i've always been i've also been a safety instructor for other companies and it's you know it's just routine to to response the way that i do and I've also been a uh, first response and fireman and stuff like that. So I've had a little bit of training. That's, and, incredible. That's incredible for someone at, at that age to, you know, to really, you, you know, to, 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 to be taught that or be told that, you know, to not uh, overreact in certain situations. It's different as opposed to it actually happened. And then you, you, you know, you go into, you know, react, reacting mode, especially for a little child, because you would think that, you know, all that will probably go out the window, but he stayed um, strong and remembered what you had told him whatnot. Um, that's incredible. Only thing that you lost was, was, was your vision. Um, did it affect you in any other way? I mean, what happened, what else had transpired in that time? Because you know he said it was a strong blast and whatnot, but you know, and I'm quite sure something else happened. You know, as as far as the damage to you. Well, um, it it really wasn't uh, too much more than the blast to the head, and it, I mean, I it fractured my skull and you know, it knocked me out for a little bit, but it happened so much, so fast, and so quick with. With the accident and my son helping me and then them rushing me to the hospital it it's hard to re remember right you know, it, it was so quick and plus i'm so used to my vision to tell the story that i had nothing to tell or see if right. that makes right. it, it makes sense and it it was so it when it didn't when i when it impacted me it 
I could, matter of fact, I remember the last image. You know, I'm looking up at my uh, uh, condenser unit, and then all of a sudden, just the fitting, and it it was like a a warm a coat just went over my face, and at that time, all of a sudden, my vision went out, and that's it, oh, oh, it was horrifying for me. And but it was. I mean, oh. it just. All at once, bam, 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 and then I'm on the floor. The next thing I know, he's sitting there, you know, with his hands on me. Wow. So, how long were you hospitalized? You don't remember? Um, I was actually hospital hospitalized for four days. Um, it took a little time to do the reconstruction surgery to my eye, and it it's so simply amazing that they were actually able to to put it back together. Really, technology is something. And how much? How much can you see out of out of the eye that, that you had the uh, accident? Um, right now, I probably have twenty percent of my vision. Mm-hmm. You could say um, I can see shapes and shadows, and I can see movement, but colors and um, clearness, I, I just don't have it. And I still have a ball of oil in my eye right now, holding my retina in place. So it's going to be a while before I have another surgery and. Um, to even know what my full potential is yet. So. At this point in time, um, ha- have you had any other uh, accidents um, before this one? Well, um, like I was saying, when I was nine years old, <laughs> okay, now this one's a little out there. Uh, mm-hmm. My babysitter had shot me with my, my own BB gun mm-hmm. when I was nine. <laughs> so, But to be honest, with that happening, I don't think I would be able to handle coping like I am with my whole situation. So with me being blind and that I young mm-hmm. is being able to help me adapt being the vision that I have now, if that makes any sense. It, does. it does. Now, um, in, in, in reference to you working in your, in your, uh, in your shop, did any? Uh, did you have any? Uh, like this? This was the first time you've had like um, an accident of this magnitude. Well, to be honest, um, uh, see, that accident happened in April, I mean, in November, and in April, I had an accident as well where I fell off the ladder and had a concussion. And man, that should have been my sign there. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But um, he was there with me too. But. He was sleeping at the time, and luckily I, I was able to get up and um, get him and put him in uh, so we can go back to the house and I can doctor myself up a little bit. So, I mean, it's always just been me and him. Yeah, well, since, um, well, it's just been us for the, since he was about two years old, and we have a really strong bond. Mm-hmm. and. He even has uh, separation anxiety at times, so it's. I know he's always right there, but it's it's harder to get us separated than it is to keep us apart. <laughs> I can understand that. So, what is there anything that you tell him at the time uh, at, during those times? Uh, I mean, you, I know you, by you saying well, it's going to be all right and all this other things is not going to help him out at all. So, what do you actually tell him in order to to ease his uh, his his anxiety? Well, um, usually I'm not there when it happens, and um, I'll have to uh, get a phone call or something like that, and have to try to calm him down and let him know, you know, everything will be okay. And just the sound of my voice, just I mean, it triggers it, and you know, he's automatically calm. And um, it's when when he gets in those fits, I don't I don't think he's thinking clearly, and it uh, he's just so he's get he has anxiety from it so he gets a little overwhelmed and when other people are are talking to him or you know maybe even getting on to him he it it's hard for him to accept it because i'm not there the one doing it or mm-hmm. being by his side during it or something like that so wow. and um but he is to be honest he's getting older and he's getting a lot better you know we haven't had any issues like that especially this year i know every day you kind of like think you know you know really not really say it you know uh out loud but kind of in your mind thank your son for actually being there you know because had he not been there you never know what could have happened you know 
Oh man, he saved me more 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 ways than one. So, yeah, I mean, he saved me before my accident, during my accident, and after my accident. So, I mean, he's really been a blessing to me. I can imagine. So, and that's why I definitely want the title uh, "A Hero Comes in All Sizes and Ages." And I want to definitely thank uh, you know you for sharing your story. You know, and because it's it's it's, it's an inspiring one because of the fact that regardless of what you had, had gone through you still you still here it, it hasn't it hasn't brought you down or and any you know from what i gather and whatnot you know because like, many people probably would have given up because of the fact that they had seen prior to because like you know, a lot of people depend so much on their vision and whatnot but when incidents like this happen and causes their vision to be taken away they kind of like don't know how to really uh react and whatnot so what's what's keeping you uh you know focused and saying you know regardless i'm gonna still make it even i have uh i don't have as much vision vision as i as i did what's keeping you um focused and determined well with my son's always been right here with me and he he is with him in my life i've been thinking clearly trying to you know take care of him do anything and everything just to have let him have a good chance at life Right. That's how and, I am. And it's it's been a little overwhelming trying trying to do so, you know, just being me and him. And I've even had to quit my career just so I can so I can raise him. And I just wanted to try to have something for him later in life, as far as like having the shop. And wow. uh, well, him inspire, inspiring me to be strong and take care of him. I mean, he, he needs me. And at this point I need him and, and, and he knows it. And that's why we have such a strong bond. I love that.